Hello and welcome to my shop. Today we're going to talk about this beast right here. Um, I had uh, the opportunity to get this uh, radial arm saw for free. And I've always been wanting to restore old machines. So this one is going to be the part one of a series of videos of me trying to restore this machine. I've never done any restoration before so it's gonna be my first one and I thought that doing something something which is free is always good. If I screw it up, throw it away. So the part one will be about the electrical because uh, one good advice I got was to make sure this thing was running before doing anything else and this is exactly what I'm gonna do and you should make sure you stay till the end because this thing at the end of this uh, first one will be running so let's get into it so this is a DeWalt 14 inch radial arm saw this is one phase 230 volts uh, 60 cycles and I'm guessing category number 3510 or 3515 I don't know what's the difference between standard arm and medium arm it's a model GA as shown on this plate here let's see what we have here so we have plug a single phase if we follow the cable we go to this box here which I'm guessing goes to that box there and this cable yep it goes from here to here this cable goes to the motor and then there's a wire here That goes to this on-off switch there. And this switch there, you see it goes to this wire, which goes nowhere. Okay, so we need to fix all this before we can start it up. So let's see what's behind this plate there and see if the wiring is okay. Just a regular on off switch. Let's do the same on that one and see what we have. So this one is going to be interesting because we have single phase coming in and this one shows L1, L2, L3, L4. Uh, so something's weird here. So I'm checking on the motor just to make sure it's single phase, which it is. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look this up because I have no idea what this thing is. So I look online and I found this uh, ACS 3402U30. That's a four pole connector that has been discontinued, uh, provided by Eton Corporation. And uh, I also found a wiring diagram for this thing. So I'm going to show you how it is wired actually. So then what I'm going to do is straighten this box here so I can get access to the wires easier and here is what we have I'm gonna remove the cable anyways I don't need this box so I'm gonna get rid of this one and see what this one is and here is Scout my shop dog hey Scout Scout come on Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Scout is a dog de Bordeaux, a French, French Mastiff. And he usually doesn't come to the shop. Must be here because it's raining outside. So, that's why. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, after this break with Scout, let's go back at it and uh, take out this box. Let's get rid of it. So 
And it seems like the red and the black from the power, the junction, junction box before here. So the red goes to L2 and the black goes to L1 with the uh, switch, the white from the switch at the front. And it seems like the other one is grounded down here if you follow from here to here. I'm gonna take that out. Yeah, it's not it's not even attached. Um so I'm gonna take these out. So you see the how it is in the box. As you can see, you got uh, red and black coming in with 110. And then T1 and L3 are plugged together. And then T2 and T3 are going to the motor. And uh, one of the legs is going to the on-off switch and then back to the motor. Where is going? Okay, these, these two, green and red, seems to be ground. There's something here that says ground. There's another one here that says ground. So these two. So black and, well, it looks like brown is actually white. These two are probably, almost likely L1, L2. L1, L2. We'll see. So let me see how it is inside. It's not the best, but since it's small, I got it. There's paper in there. A gasket. With the thickness of the wires, I'm sure these are power. Something written on it says C. And this one. This one F. C and F. C and F. And I think I saw that C and F. Yep. See, there's an F here. F here. Ground. It says ground also. And this one, I'm sure, had a C on it, but the the label fell out. Actually not. It's right here. What's funny too is listen to this. <laughs> this is toasted. Yeah, it looks like Need a new one. I found this online, the manual. <coughs> so which is interesting. So this is the exact same motor as what you have here. Three horsepower, one phase. 230 volt 60 cycle but the box that is on the right here is not the one for one phase it was wired using 
an on off switch like a light picture instead of using this and um, the on off switch down here works on 110 this one works not doesn't work on 110 this is a control wire or these are control wires and I'm guessing it's either fried or we just uh, bypassed it as you see here it goes through control cable goes to here and then back here but this is it's going through this call here and I don't know if it can uh, handle 110 I'm gonna do a continuity test and see what it is we'll find out right quick so if I do this as soon as it touches I get continuity or not you will see the the wire has continuity and if I press the buttons if it has anything or not so let's do and I'm gonna do white as neutral here obviously if I touch on the other side it doesn't beep, huh? there's no continuity at all so we'll see start red black I'm just touching the same wire here because I had a dub for a second nothing on the white there's something on the on the black here so white and black are making a connection So black and white work on the red button. Let's have the cables broken. Or the wire is broken. Let's find out. And the switch is dead. I'll put it back in place. So I think we bypassed the switch there because it was dead. Well, maybe try to find a replacement or what. But Put it back here. So let's see. But it's all rewired. My cable's too short. 
right now, but it's rewired here, rewired there. Um, this is dead, I believe, so I'm using the one down here. And uh, the breaker is this one. I just turned it on. Uh, since it's plugged in, it didn't trip. That's a good sign. And I'm guessing the uh, on-off button switch is off. So we'll see if this thing fires up or not in a second. Ready? It takes forever to stop. Wow, this thing crazy. Still turning. He's still turning. Wow, that's crazy. That's forever. But I'm glad it's working. I can put a uh, longer cord, put the electrical back together with tape and stuff. It looks decent. And uh, I might check to see if I can order an on off switch there from somewhere just leave it like this and check the rest of it so we'll see all right this baby is old but it's working so thank you very much for tuning in and we'll catch you later